Mayor, a fella that asked me in Cheltenham. Annie Annie Power. <laughs> Singer with uh, dreadlocks from the Caribbean. Tupac. No, way older. <laughs> <laughs> way older. Hello and welcome to a very special racing quiz ahead of Irish Champions Weekend. I'm Paddy Parr and I've been joined once again by our esteemed panel of colleagues to pit their wits against one another and get some bragging rights and vie for the much coveted Paddy Parr Pants Trophy. First captain to introduce is the one and only Fran Berry. <laughs> and Fran is joined on his team by Kevin O'Ryan and the unbeaten in these quizzes, David Jennings. And on the other team, the captain, none other than Ruby Walsh. And Ruby joined by Kate Harrington and Shane Foley. Let battle commence. The first round is called and they're off and it's a buzzer round. So our contestants will have to buzz first if they know the answer, but be careful because a wrong answer throws it open to the other side. You can't confer when, I, when you buzz and I say your name. You have to just answer it yourself, but then you throw it over. They obviously can't confirm. You ready? Fingers on brothers, everybody. We're off to an easy start. In what year did the two-day Irish champion... David. 2014, Paddy. In what year did the two-day Irish champion weekend first take place? 2014, yes, was, in fact, the correct answer. Did well, my last night. <laughs> Charlie Appleby has won the Vince O'Brien National Stakes on three occasions. Name his first winner of the race. Ruby. Tina Tuba. Incorrect. We throw it across. Jeez. Master. Master season. No. Something sees no master. Hurry you along now, gentlemen. It's I don't think it's right, but, but master of the season. Well, that's a great reason to go for the answer. You don't think it's right, so you're going to go with master of the season. And you were right, it's wrong. Quarto was the answer. Okay. <laughs> uh, Christ. So, question three fingers and buzzers. Name the last French trained winner of the Irish. Kevin. Almanzor. Of the Irish Champion Stakes. It was Almanzor. Well done, Kevin. Hey. Well done. Get in there, Kev. Fingers on the buzzers, please. <laughs> Which eight year old won the 2015 Darren's Town Stud flying? Kevin. <laughs> what am I have to do in there now? Why did I press that so? Your heart. Uh, Soul Power. Soul Power is correct. The Flying Five Stakes in 2015. Well done. Which Willie. <laughs> David? Physiolana. Which Willie McCreary trained mare won the 2014 Matron Stakes? Physiolana hey. is correct. Well, well done, on, DJ. You're on fire, son. Everyone, back to their buzzers, please. Which English trained horse won the 2014 Irish St. Ledger? Shane. It, 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 it. Oh, geez, that's an easy one. Brown Panther. Ah. Correct. Well done. You're off and running, Ruby. Really. Back on the buzzers. Next question. The 2018 Moyglare Stud Stakes was won by Ronan Whelan on which... Skitter Scatter. Skitter Scatter. Which filly? Ah. Skitter Scatter was. <laughs> Next question. How many Group 1 races are hosted over the two-day... Ruby? Eight. No, he's wrong. Incorrect. Seven. How many Group 1 races are hosted over the two days of the Irish Champions Weekend? Seven. Incorrect. It was six. <laughs> Ryan Moore has won three Irish Champions Stakes since 2014, but which is the only one which wasn't trained by Aidan O'Brien? Ruby. Greg Gatsby. Correct. Well done. <laughs> uh, who rode Hydrangea to win the 2017 Matron? Jamie. Shame. Park Beggy. Yeah, get Incorrect. The, yeah, Jamie, Jamie, he had two goes and he was wrong both times. Uh, hold on. Hydrangea. 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 Wayne Lorden, surely. Yeah, I think you're right. Sir. Wayne Lorden? Wayne Lorden is correct. Well, well done, the 27 uh, matron stakes. Which trainer sent out four of the eight winners on day one of the 2021 Irish Champions weekend? Frank. Hang on, whoa, whoa. Gerald Lines. Correct. <laughs> what? You were still talking when he had the button well pressed. I didn't yeah, notice the light because I was reading while I was trying to. He knows the stuff, like, you know, don't be jealous of that, like, you know. Chalk that down there, Paddy. Chair lines, yeah, correct. Yeah, that one down for us there, Paddy, well done. Uh, this is the final question of the round, everybody, okay? Are you giving this one? Who trained Stepper Point to win the 2014... Fran. William Moore. The 2014 Darren stood flying five stakes. William Moore is correct, well done. Hey, yeah. Good yeah. round, boys. Well played both teams. At the end of that round, Ruby's team scored three points, but storming into the lead with seven points, it's Fran's team. Yeah. Round two is photo finish, is what it's called. And this round sees our guests choose a number from the board and try to answer a question about the photo that is revealed. There's no conferring, but a wrong answer does throw it across to the other team. Right, we are going to start with Shane. I'll go for a four. Number four. 
Who is Ryan Moore leading into the Leopards Town Parade ring? Ronan Whelan. Correct. Well oh, show. David, you're next. Can I have a three, please, Paddy? You can. Which jockey is here enjoying Matron Stakes glory? It's Physiolan. It has to be Billy Lee. Correct. Well done. It is Billy Lee. Uh, Kate, you're next. I'll go with number one. Number one. Okay, toe the line is the horse, but who's pretty in pink winning oh. the Pentigo handicap? He used to love matching up his goggles, Fran Berry. Fran Berry is correct, <laughs> a smile on his face. Uh, next up is Kevin. Uh, five, please, Paddy. Five. Okay, which horse is the late Pat Smullen winning the 2015 Pentigo handicap on? <laughs> That's you in second, anyway, isn't it? It is, yeah. yeah. It gave it too much to do as usual. Do you know the answer? No. <laughs> Spell it. Cinema is it? No. It's it. They all sound the same, so you can't say that. <laughs> <laughs> We're going to have to press you. Uh, Just go. Silwala. Sil no, Silwara. I'm actually going to give it to you. It's Silwana. Oh, Silwana. Silwana. Well done. Good work. It's very good, Captain. Finally, the captains, Ruby. What are you going for? Two uh, or six? Six, please. Six. Who is the jockey leading home a Rich Ritchie won two on Irish Champions Weekend? The pink cap on the near side. O'Sheen Murphy. Correct. Right. Well done. Right, Fran, that leaves you at number two. Name these two jockeys giving Bally Doyle an Irish Champions Weekend one two. Um, McNamara on the far side. Uh, Donica O'Brien on the near side. Correct. Well done. Good work. Good work. <laughs> And that's the end of the round, which means that Ruby's team trails Fran's team by four points. The scores now, Ruby's team's on six, but Fran's team's on ten. Yeah. Round three is beat the drop. Fran, in front of you, you've got 15 balls. You need to put them in the box that you think matches the correct answer. You can spread the balls across the boxes, but you'll only take the balls that you put in the correct box through to the next question. And at the end of the round, there's three questions in the round. At the end of the round, whatever number of balls you've got left, you bring through as your points. Perfect. Right, your first question is, since 2014, how many Group 1 winners has Aidan O'Brien had on Irish Champions Weekend? Is it A, 12, B, 14, or C, 16? He's only had one last year, am I right? Was it one last year? So it's six by six, six by eight. seven. So what's six by seven? 42. 42, <laughs> good so far. The only good thing is, by the time days I finish counting this, the traffic is <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it's 16. Right. But. He didn't think We just, 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 just spread the risk. Anza 16's was, the most obvious. Anza answer, was we think Anza wrong the last time we were up here doing a quiz for Galway. Oh, oh, oh what Kev. a catch. What a catch. We just giving one. you the thumbs up on B, though. Three. We just put one. Aidan's telling two, us something two. there. He's saying, go B, lads. Well, no, no, no. Do, do, do. I think it's A. What do you think it is? If it was just a question. Can I just remind you, you had a really in depth discussion about a strategy which is I know. before you went <laughs> on air, <laughs> which is completely opposite to what you're doing right now. Just, just, there we go. There we go. That's too there. many there now. Right. I can tell you that Aidan O'Brien has a total of 16 winners. The answer is C. Yeah. <laughs> So you have three balls through Thanks, to the Dave. next round. <laughs> Question two. How many Irish St. Ledgers did Order of St. George win? Is it A, one, B, two, or C, three? Wicklow Brave beat him at one to seven. Hines, not, it's, Hines no, it's right. Not three. Yeah. I thought he won two, did he? So is it Wicklow Brave? Yeah, we go, we go. But I'm not sorry. We'll go two and one. We definitely didn't win three anyway. Yeah. There we go. That's the strategy you should have in the first question. Well right. done, there you go. Porter St. George has won the, Saint, the Irish St. Ledger twice. So the answer is B. Well so you take well two done. balls through to the next well question. Done. Well done. So we're going to make it a bit tougher <laughs> now in theory because you're meant to leave one of those boxes empty after this question, but it uh, won't be an issue for you guys today. Your last question of the round is how many Phillies or Mares won at the 2021 Irish Champions Weekend? Is it A4, B5, or C6? Mm. Race one. Panama Red, your lines. Dusty, who knocked down the, everybody in the field, <laughs> and then kill Ryan Moore. That was two. There's still an inquiry going on. Still an inquiry here. going yeah. on two. Yeah. Discoveries. Discoveries. Paddy Toomey's filly on the Sunday. Le Petit Coco. Randy Proposal is five. Five. What went the ledger? Sorry, boy, listen. Handicaps. You've only two balls left. You shouldn't take this down. the ball, lad. There doesn't have to be no panic. Come on, there, guys. there is panic. There <laughs> is panic. Leave out three anyway, right? Yeah. No. <laughs> 
I've only got two balls. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> They're going with B. Their final answer is B, Paddy. Are you going four, with B? Five, You're in B. Five, so it's not four. You're in B. Leads with B. Five, B. <laughs> <laughs> Right, there we go. Okay. Yeah, I know, five, five and six. So you're banking on five or six, okay. Yeah. It's definitely not four. Well, I can tell you there's a total of five, so the answer was yeah. B. So congratulations, well you take one, one point through for the next <laughs> round. Well done. <laughs> Little Fisher Sweet. <laughs> so Fran's team scores one point. So, Ruby, the door is open if you care to walk through it. We will try, Paddy, we will try. Uh, your first question. Since 2014, which of these trainers has had the most Group 1 winners on Irish Champions Weekend? Is it A, Joseph O'Brien, B, Jessica Harrington, or C, John Gosden? It's not a bit of insider trading there, really. Yeah. The <laughs> Objection. Group, yeah. group 1 winners. Yeah. Champions Weekend. Yeah. No. Did you win a mile there? Uh, last year. One. Did you win the Flying Five? No. St. Ledger? No. Champion six? Mm, yeah, she's beaten the Major and beaten the Moidler and Discoveries. It was only two. Only two. John Gosling. What won the Champion Stakes for Gosling? I can't think of it. Golden Horn. Golden Horn, I can't think of it now. I might go and get myself a cup of tea. <laughs> right. Is that it? Going for it? We're guessing. Great. Well, I can tell you that Jessica Harrington and John Gosling both have two, but Joseph O'Brien has three. Get in there. We have a chance. Good result. Good so result. you're taking four. four balls through to the next question. How many do we have after the first round? Here's four your second well. question. Since 2014, which of these Group 1 races has Aidan O'Brien won the most on Irish Champions Weekend? Is it A, the Matron Stakes, B, the Darrenstown Stud Flying Five Stakes, or C, the Moy Glare Stud Stakes? Yeah, it's definitely not the Flying Five, anyway. No. That's the one that that's... I go two and two. I'm all in on C. Since 2014. You, you were having side bets here. I think like he's won more uh, Meidlers with two year olds than he was with three year old fillies, has he not? Yeah, we'll we'll keep ourselves in the game. We'll have the lead Alice in the boys Springs. if we can. I can tell you oh, that he oh. has won the Matron Stakes twice, he has won the Flying Five twice, and he's won the Moigler three times. So well done. So you take three yeah, balls through to the final <laughs> question. <laughs> what did he call that time? I'm after winning a score off. <laughs> what did he say? What did he say? The other one. He's on about eight. So you've got three balls left. So for, the f for the first time today We're and the first time since we started doing these quizzes, we I think this part of the question is actually relevant. You have to leave one of the boxes <laughs> empty, OK? <laughs> so which makes it a bit more difficult for your final question. And here it is. How many winning favourites were there at the 2021 Irish Champions Weekend? Was it A, 2, B, 4 or C, 6? No, speak, Alexander. Wasn't was favourite. Was, 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 so Mother, was Mother favourite, was she? Yeah, yeah just go away. We're, that was, so there was two favourites, one on the first day. <laughs> Sorry, what? Mother, Ever present wasn't fa favourite. Or was he favoured? Colin was favoured in the last. St. Mark's Basilica was favoured. What won the ledger last year? Sorry, we listen. The one wasn't favoured. Hey, lads. What are we, we going got for? three. We're hoping there's four, and we're hoping we haven't missed two. So we're going all in on four. Right. Well, I can tell you, it was a very good weekend for the bookies. There were, in fact, only two winning favourites <laughs> across <laughs> Champions Weekend. So the answer was A. So you get, let me just count it up. Zero. Zero. <laughs> oh. I know, I backed by 10 other players. So at the end of that very depressingly low scoring round <laughs> that started with the possible 15 points for each team, Ruby's team got zero and Fran's team got one. So Fran is leading 11 points to six. The round four is staying on, and in this round, we're looking back at the highlights from last year's Irish Champions Weekend. Our teams will watch a short highlights reel, and they'll have three questions to answer at the end, some of which will be observational, so pay attention. Fran, your team's up first, and you've got Leopardstown from last year. So take a look at this. Okay, so here's your first question. Who trained the winner of the opening race of Irish Champions Weekend 2021? Okay. Gerlines, Panama Red. Correct. Second question. What stallion was advertised on the cap of the man leading in Shane Foley and the matron? Oh, Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, yeah. Do you know this? Justify. 
Justify. We'll go justify, yes, good call. Correct, well done. Boom, well done, Franny. <laughs> well done, Todd. And here's your final question. How far did St. Mark's Basilica beat Tarnawa by in the Irish Champions Stakes? Oh, it's further than we think. It's, it's a half a length, three quarters of a length, or a length, one of those three. <laughs> Can only be one day. Yeah, like, I'm no, I go three pounds. You know, three quarters. On his, yeah, on his flank. You, go on. You're the captain. I'm nervous. No about one's this take one. responsibility. Three, three, three quarters of a length, please, Paddy. Correct. Well done. Well done. <laughs> well done. Maximum <laughs> points. Three points there for Fran's team at the end of that round. You guys have the Curra, so watch carefully. Right, your first question is, Love and Petit Coco fought out the finish of the Blandford Stakes, but who completed the tri-cast? So, in the other half of this round, it was who trained the winner of the opening race on Champions <laughs> Weekend? <laughs> Ger Lyons. No, when it comes to our side only... then, it's what finished third in what race is the Blandford? <laughs> in group two. So is it the third race or the fourth race <laughs> in the car? Wonderful. Did you ride in it? Yeah. Where did you finish? Four. So who's just a <laughs> I, I'm trying to think, I don't know. <laughs> no, Thunder Kiss. Close, but it was Thundering Nights, hard luck. Uh, your second question. Where did superstar Philly and subsequent Irish 1,000 Guineas winner Homeless Songs finish in the Moy Glare? Oh, um, they are much harder, actually, than your yeah, question. No, she wasn't even fit. I think she was Pretty easy, right? Huh? I think I she was six. What was the second question, Diego? Uh, I don't know, but it wasn't, it wasn't as hard as was, this one. What was on the cap? Yeah, that yeah, was hard. That was hard as well. Yeah. Saw that wasn't. It was Coolmore. It was Coolmore. Coolmore sponsored the race. And that's their upcoming I'd said, salad. I'd have said six. Took a wild guess, then. Homeless song. I know. I think there was a homeless song. Is there not an eight in her form? Is it not one eight? One, she was one. very keen. She was I'll freeze the wind. There's only seven runners in the race anyway. Yeah, I think she was sixth. Sixth, so. Go on. Sixth. Sixth. Fifth. Uh, and finally, question. I <laughs> and finally, <laughs> I said eight. I said eight. There's only seven runners. <laughs> and finally, question oh. three. I think we need a screen. Who up finished here, second <laughs> last? In the, no, I'm joking. Uh, <laughs> name the two Joseph O'Brien trained horses that finished second and third to Sunny Boy List in the Irish Ledger. Uh, Twilight Payment and Baron Tomdy. Correct. Well done. Yay. <laughs> so you get a point in the end. So well done. Right, at the end of that round, Fran's team scored full three points. Ruby's team scored just the one. So the score is now 14 points to Fran's team and seven to Ruby's team. Right, round five is the home straight. So it's all still to play for, kind of. Uh, Ruby, you're seven points behind. I'm going to get them to go up first. Set you a target, okay? So damn it. Um, Fran in, has to go. In this round, one player oh, no, gets up no, no. and describes what they see on the screen. They can't say what's actually on the screen, which means, Fran, you can't say <laughs> what actually is on the screen. Nothing to. The last time we did this quiz, Fran. Charades, Fran. You, almost every question you read what was on the screen. That is not the point. Today you cannot say what's on the screen, okay? And you describe it to your teammate and they get as many questions as they Fran can within 60 seconds. So, <laughs> Fran, who are you nominating? As captain, are you going to take the bullet yourself again? I am. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Oh, is that a good idea? Yeah. Let him redeem himself. Yeah, let him redeem himself. Come on, Fran, up you get. Up you get. Remember now, we are seven points in front. Yeah, I won't let you down, lads. <laughs> I do distinctly remember at the Galway and Goodwood quiz, he said something similar. <laughs> <laughs> right, Fran, your time starts now. Uh, Abba song. <laughs> 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 the lady wears a crown. Dancing queen. <laughs> keep going, keep going. Connor Dwyer won two champion horns on. Uh, how do you use <laughs> He's best friends with Robin. Batman. Batman. He's all shook up. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> Good golfer, but can't win a major recently. Rory McIlroy. Green and gold cutters. Jamie McManus. Ron Burgundy. Fran Burry. Anchorman. <laughs> golf course in Scotland. 
Uh, Ten hundred. Ten hundred. There you go. If there's something strange in the neighborhood, who are you going to call? Ghostbusters! And Mick can have one, the guineas, one, the arc on him, retired. Seems that. All the Willie Mullins first grade time of the year. Time up, time up, time up, time up, time up. In October, November. Alaho. No, no. Oh, Saturday. The race. Charger, Charger. The race, the race title. Morgana. No, no, they didn't. I heard, I heard. The time was up, the time was up. But that was very impressive, Hello, especially. Hey! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Got your boss started. Right, so, <laughs> one, two, three, four, five, six, it. seven, we eight, nine, ten, Fran, ten. Brilliant, well done. Cheers, Ruby, it's a neat no ten No pressure minutes. now, lads. Ruby, are you going up yourself? <laughs> OK. Why not, Paddy? Sure, why not? I think it'll be a moral victory if we can get 11. This will be like trying to win on Alfarov now in the Supreme. This week. You need 18 to win, I think. <laughs> yeah, well, the gap the is so big, off. I need to check with the actuary department. I think it's 18, yeah? Right. Rui, your time starts now. Guinness is a... Uh... Stout. It's Batman, Robin, the other fella climbs on the wall. Spider right, Spider uh, Frankie Dettori's best filly. Enable. Pop band, uh, Ronan, not Ronan Keaton, Gary Barlow. Why done? Gary Barlow. Uh, bye, 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 bye. No. Mayor of Fella, the last of me in Shetland. Annie, Annie Power. <laughs> Singer with uh, dreadlocks from the Caribbean. Tupac. No, way older. <laughs> <laughs> way older. Pass. Smokes. Uh, Swedish band won uh, Eurovision. Pass. <laughs> Boba, Abba. Yeah. <laughs> In soccer, if you're ahead of the last defender, you're... Offside. Offside. <laughs> David Jennings works for them. Uh, Batman, not Batman, James Bond, Scottish. Old Richard Thunder. Time's uh, up. Th Sean Connery. I'm going to give it to you, because time's up, because it won't matter to the final scores. Well played, Fran. You got 10 there to Ruby's 8, which means the final scores today are that Ruby Watch's team has 15 points, but the winner today, with 24 points, Fran Berry's team. Well done, so it's the wooden spoons for you lads and the bragging rights and the trophy that you no doubt won't bother your arse to bring home, Fran, for you. Well done. Thank you very much. A huge thank you to all our guests for coming in today and I hope you had a bit of crack doing it as well. And special thanks to all of you for watching at home. We should be back with more racing quizzes in the near future. Fear not. Be lucky and thanks for watching. <laughs> Thank mm -hmm. you.